dear students this presentation uh, gives you the idea about topics from module 5 introduction to nonlinear systems characteristics of nonlinear systems and the types of nonlinearities a system which does not obey the principle of superposition and principle of homogeneity then system is nonlinear if it obeys both the principle then system is linear we can illustrate by means of the following block diagram suppose we have a system with the transfer function g and for an input x1 if the output is y1 and for an input x2 if the output is y2 now if the input is multiplied with a constant alpha 1 that is alpha 1 into x1 then if the output is alpha 1 into y1 similarly if the input is alpha 2 into x2 the output is alpha 2 into y2 then we can say that this system follows the principle of homogeneity similarly if the input is the combination of the above inputs that is if alpha 1 into x1 plus alpha 2 into x2 is applied then the output has the form y3 equal to alpha 1 y1 plus alpha 2 y2 then we can say that the system obeys principle of superposition if both the principles are obeyed then system is linear system otherwise the system is non-linear now these are the examples of linear system and non-linear system for the non-linear system you can see the terms like x square e raised to bx or sometimes x into dy by dx or sometimes dy by dx whole square or y into dy by dx uh, e raised to x e raised to y like such terms then system becomes non-linear now coming to the characteristics of nonlinear system see how to read out all the six points the first point is uh, the idea is that that is even though the input is known to us the behavior of the nonlinear system is not predicted second point it is uh, the nonlinear system may be highly sensitive to input amplitude now third point the nonlinear systems exhibits limit cycles then fourth point the nonlinear systems may have jump resonance in the frequency response then sixth point the output of the nonlinear systems uh, may have the harmonics and subharmonics terms then sixth point the nonlinear systems will exhibit the phenomena like frequency entrainment and asynchronous conjugate to give the idea about frequency amplitude dependence it is one of the most uh, uh, fundamental characteristics of the oscillations of nonlinear systems for that consider a mass spring damper system with the here we are taking the spring as a nonlinear term we know for the first time for the spring for the linear spring it is k into x for the nonlinear spring the term is k x plus k dash s cube when k dash equal to 0 the spring is linear linear term linear element if k dash is positive it is hard spring if k dash is negative the spring is soft spring now uh, this figure gives the, the amplitude versus frequency curve uh, that is as the amplitude increases as the amplitude increases for the hard spring the frequency also increases like this for the soft spring the frequency changes like this for the linear spring that is when k dash equal to 0 the frequency gets unchanged now coming to the jump resonance that is we can explain the jump resonance by means of the same system by means of these two figures that is frequency response curves that is when the frequency increases the amplitude of the output also increases in this manner 1 to 2 then from the point 2 it jumps to point 3 then to 4 then after after the when the frequency is decreases then from point 4 to 5 then it jumps to 6 goes like this so we can see as the frequency increases in a linear manner the output amplitude uh, moves in a one of the locus 
and it having a uh, not a similar uh, similar movement as the frequency decreases so this is the case for soft spring then we have this of harmonic oscillations that is if the system output having the uh, the frequency terms uh, multiples of fundamental frequency terms then we can say that you having the sub harmonic oscillations then we have the it exhibits the limit cycles now coming to the analysis of nonlinear systems it's very important uh, actually these two analysis you can see there are two analysis phase plane analysis and describing function analysis the describing function analysis is a one of the most important analysis which belongs to module 5 then we have the phase plane analysis another important analysis for the nonlinear systems which belongs to module 6 from the both the analysis you can expect a essay questions for your university examination both you have to do in a normal graph sheet now the phase plane analysis it is named as graphical method which is done in state space with the order of the system we will take it as 2 that is it is limited to up to second order system then we have the describing function analysis it is also named as harmonics analysis now coming to the classification of nonlinearities we can divide the nonlinearities into two incident and nonlinearities and intention and nonlinearities incident and nonlinearity means which is inherently present in the system the examples are saturation dead zone coulomb friction hysteresis extinction backlash etc out of this saturation and dead zone is important as for the syllabus point of view then the intention nonlinearity it is nothing but when we are deliberately inserted the nonlinearity deliberately inserted into the system such a nonlinearities are named as incidental intentional nonlinearities for example relay now these are the uh, some input output behavior of different nonlinearities again you have to study uh, the shapes of all these nonlinearities first we have the saturation nonlinearity here you can see as the input increases the output also increases initially also increases in a linear manner then after some point even though the input is increase the output becomes saturated okay so that is a best example in magnetic uh, magnetic curve that is bh curve so example for the saturation next we have the dead zone nonlinearity that is here you can see the input output behavior you can observe here that is even though the x axis represents the variation of input amplitude y axis represents the variation of output amplitude here as the input increases as the input increases the output is zero for a particular particular time that is even though input is present output is absent then after some time only as the inputs further increase the output gets starts to increase okay so you can see a, a, a zone like this it is named as dead zone next we have the input output care of relay relay means on off that is the output input output care is like this like this now this is a uh, another a uh, nonlinearity named as backlash anyway you just go through the shape only now the these uh, nonlinearities are individual nonlinearities now sometimes we can expect the combination of these nonlinearities now this uh, represents dead zone with saturation this input output this input output care represents dead zone with saturation and this represents relay with hysteresis this represents saturation sorry this represents the uh, dead zone with relay this represents dead zone with relay okay thank you